Do you know how carpet is made or where the materials come from? Have you ever thought about what happens to carpet after its useful life? The materials are typically petroleum-based, and after its useful life, carpets are discarded to landfills. In fact, the Carpet America recovery effort estimates 3.5 billion pounds of carpet is discarded in U.S. landfills each year, and only 5% of this carpet waste is recycled. Aquafil is dedicated to closing the loop on carpet manufacturing and has established four carpet collection facilities and a recycling plant located in the U.S. to collect and disassemble old carpets to be transformed into something new. Each facility collects post-consumer carpet and padding and is supplied to Aquafil's Carpet Recycling Center or other carpet recycling partners to be transformed into something new. The four carpet collection facilities located across the southwest of the United States help divert 12,500 tons of carpet and carpet pads from Phoenix Valley and California landfills each year. What makes carpet recycling challenging are the variety of materials used and the way they are assembled. At Aquafil, we have developed a proprietary process and technology that enables us to fully deconstruct the entire carpet and recycle all three components, the face fiber, the calcium carbonate, and the backing. There are three phases to our disassembly process. The process starts with the shredder where the carpet gets deconstructed. During this first phase, we remove as much calcium carbonate from the carpet as possible. Calcium carbonate is normally used to stabilize the carpet. Then, the focus of the second phase is to break the bonds among the different components or elements that constitute the carpet. The third phase is where finally the two fibers, nylon and polypropylene, are separated. In the end, the calcium carbonate will be reused in the cement industry, and the polypropylene will be recycled and used for engineering plastics. The pelletized nylon, instead, is packed into big bags for shipment to our Slovenian facility. This is where the Econil regeneration process takes place. Nylon waste from old carpets is regenerated together with other waste from all over the world, like textile scraps, plastic components, and fishing nets. Through a process called depolymerization, the nylon waste is regenerated into Econil nylon that has the same quality as nylon that is made from oil. Econil nylon is used by more than 2,500 brands all over the world for fashion and interior design. Your next carpet could have a different story if you choose sustainable materials that are recycled and recyclable. But this can only happen when we start designing products with the end in mind.